Howdy, hombres and hombrettes. My name's Lazy, and welcome you all to the king of the Iron Fist Tournament 8. Also, as we culture people know as, Tekken 8. Now, uh, this game actually came out about a week ago, and I've been trying to actually get to grips with the new systems and the new gameplay functions of this game, so that's why I kind of uh, didn't, uh, like, uh, you know... Uh, plan like any anything recorded like before that and uh, I was also trying to finish up cassette beasts at the same time and uh, After playing a little bit off screen. I'm gonna say like a couple of systems are gonna be a little bit uh, uh, Gonna take a little bit some time of getting used to what we're gonna be doing in this one is uh we're going to be playing through the story mode, which a lot of people are saying is one of the most insane, one of the most well-made like story modes for Tekken ever. So with that being said, uh, we are going to start. So uh, I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have two fights per episode. And once like the two fights are up, we're going to end uh, this episode in that point. And as you can see, it already looks amazing. The new engine that they're using for this game is astronomically good. Kazuya never looked more intimidating, so uh, I'm gonna stop yapping and we're gonna play the story. Learn about the Mishima Saga up until 7 with Digest Movies. You know what? It never hurts to have a recap, so let's do it. Alright, uh, that's through tech, through, from Tekken 1 to Tekken 7. Sure. Why not? They actually did the same like recap in Tekken 6 as well when uh, the campaign scenario came by as well. Yeah, we remember this. We all know the real reason why you did that. To test Kazuya for the devil gene. Yeah, until Kazooie came by and stomped your ass, literally. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. It's a shame that we have to like manually uh, see this and they no don't like just play out automatically. And I take it, yeah, this this uh, summary we unlock it after basically pre pretty much being the story. Well, sorry, I'm not making sense. I'm still waking up uh, a little bit. Yep, that's what Jin was saying in the last game. He did the same thing to you. Yeah, and he pretty much tossed him into the volcano. I remember like when I played the first three Tekkens, I had no idea like what the canonical landing for all of them was. It wasn't until I actually played Tekken 6 that I understood uh, which like uh, endings were canonical and which ones progressed the plot. Also, by the way, Jun Kazama comes back to this as well. So, uh, that's gonna be an interesting little element. Mm-hmm. 
できるというその伝説にわしは見せられたしかし探索は失敗に終わるふん<笑>母がいてさえくれるいや、yeah. なぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだなぜだ俺は平八に進められるのは大会に参加したそしてヤツは現れた母の敵を前にした時何かも俺の中で弾けた Oh, you left him twitching. Jesus. The first resurgence of Devil Jin. Yeah. By the way, sorry if I'm slowing down the let's play. I just. Wanna refresh like the story for myself as well. <laughs> Except it wasn't that easy. A Mashima never truly stays dead. <laughs> you should be more surprised at the fact that he survived a freaking volcano. I personally never played Tekken 4, so... I think Tekken 4 is the only Tekken game I have never played by far. <laughs> yeah, they fought at Honmaru. Yeah, he beat both of your asses handedly. And we move on to Tekken 5. The Tekken game that I played, I think, the most, even more than Tekken 3, because it was just such an awesome game. I'll never forget this opening for the fifth game. Yeah. Yeah, left him for dead, but, G but Heiachi didn't die because he's stubborn little shit. His death will only come two games later. Hmm. 
Arguably one of the worst bosses I fought. Shinpachi was a pain in the ass to fight. And it somehow got even worse in Tekken 6. And yeah, Jin pretty much became. Jin pretty much became the head honcho of Mishima Zaibatsu. And as this next recap will show. That's Lars next to him. Mishima <laughs> a new tournament in the middle of a war. Oh, this bastard was somehow even worse than Jinpachi. Yeah, he pretty much plunged the entire world into World War 3 just so he can get rid of the devil gene by killing a Azazel. But that didn't take. And now we come to Tekken 7. ザ・キングオブ・アイアンフィスト・トーナメントの開催を宣言する。その裏で、所属不明となっていた陣を救出した俺たちは、アジトに潜伏しながら攻勢に出るチャンスを伺っていた。やがて、三島財閥と陣社
It's arguably one of the most insane starts to a fighting game story ever. You're about to see in a minute. There we go. There's the bastard himself. <laughs> Only a Mishima can do that. <laughs> like I said, a bonkers start, like always. And of course, walks away unscathed. Yep, he kind of did. Oh boy! Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. We're starting. Oh boy. Oh, by the way, I think he kind of plays on R as well. Ouch. That was painful. Okay, he's... Okay, that was a good one. I'm not I'm not the most technical Tekken player. I'm not about like fancy juggles and shit. I just kinda of bash. Boom! <laughs> nope, not yet. Ooh, there we go. Wait, let me let me quickly check controller setup. Sorry about it. Uh, damn it. Uh, left punch. No, no, that's not it. Oh wait, I already. Ah, oh, fuck no. All right. Uh, s sorry for stopping. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, I cannot grapple him. Sorry about that stop, didn't mean to. Oh, you can stop now, please. Oh, nice. Oh, boy. Yeah, as you can see, this game has a lot of new tricks to it. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Boom! Oh boy! Ah shit, I got a message. That ah, doesn't matter. There's no way you're gonna kill him at the start of the game. <laughs> oh, we're devil shit now. Whoa! Ah, shit. 
punish me on that one. Boom. Bam. Oh, yeah. I'm doing way better than I did the demo. At the demo, he absolutely beat my ass. I kind of forgot that he had the force. <laughs> yeah, like I said before, the opening does not carry around. Holy shit. <laughs> I hope no one lived in that building. Otherwise, they'll be responsible for even more collateral damage. Here. Oh, there we go. Kazuya stopped playing. Yeah, Jim's not doing well. Let's continue. Okay. Oh, Ow. Oh, my goodness, Christ. You sir need to calm down. Oh, was that how Kuma phase out? I don't think I'm gonna last. Yeah, I am not gonna live. Yeah, I'm done, I think. Yeah! <laughs> uh, he still kicked my ass, yeah. I hope, at least we don't start from the very beginning. Fight. Ow! <laughs> nice, got this up on luck, and boom! Oh boy, that was a very ow. Oh. Oh, you good sir, need to stop. Ooh, boy, caught him. A little bit more to kill him. Well, to knock him out, at the very least. Oh, boy. Oh, it's not looking good. Jesus, Lord. Yeah, I saw that recharge before. In the hype videos. 
He's waiting. <laughs> God damn. Kazuya definitely means business this time. Oh, ogre. Oof. Ooh, oh, ho, 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 That is some power. <laughs> and that's not the end of it. Ooh, submarine. Uh, we're going to be introduced to the new Noctis, as some people have called this guy. And there's Raven. <laughs> Haven't seen him since the last game. Admiral, a few city blocks have been lost. The top brass has given us attack orders. C'est inutile. Ignorez ça. Raven, donnez la priorité au sauvetage des survivants. Gotta say, he looks badass. He's apparently the leader of the Raven unit, too. Instead of Master Raven, like thought in the previous game. He's not fucking around this time. So the stakes have never been higher in a Tekken game. He's gonna destroy everyone and everything who doesn't fit in his new world. And Jin, that was one hell of a crushing defeat. I mean, it was kind of obvious that he wasn't going to win at all because it's the very first chapter, like... But you can't build yourself back up. And that's the Devil Jin again. how the rest of this goes. I think this is a new cutscene. Nah. I think this was in the demo as well. I don't remember really. Oh no, yeah, it was in the demo.
All right. Produced by Bandai Namco Entertainment. Okay, a cave. We got a man looking for something. I won't get that uh, journalist like in the last story. That guy was Namazel. Oh, that's Azazel on the wall. But we kind of took care of him in the sixth game. I really hope that one day Namco releases like a remaster of all the previous Tekken games from 1 to 6. Just at the very least. But I don't know. Maybe they won't see it as uh, that big of a priority. Yep, that's the Zebatsu symbol. And according to the scrolls, it's been a thing since, well, feudal Japan, I guess. Oh, that's a massive real cannon. Mishima Heavy Industries. Yep, this is the Mishima Zaibatsu now. And that's G Corp. As you can see, by the way, this game presents itself, everything must end here. And I take it that a lot of people still don't know that Heihachi's dead. Like, only a select few, I think, no. Kazuya killed him himself, so I take it he's the only one who knows. And Akuma, well, he wasn't mentioned at all in the recap, so I think they're gonna ignore him. I wonder who even is this guy? Yeah, this is where the demo ended. Tekken 8. Many actually also consider this game to be uh, one of the best Tekken games since Tekken 3, and that is a very high bar to climb. Chapter 2, Wayward Power. And that's Jin, I see him. That's easy putting it, penalties. <laughs> oh, we're fighting. All right, I guess we're doing this. Uncle and nephew. Fight. Ouch. I'm not the best gym player, just want to toss that out there. Ouch. Oh, that was not cool. gonna beat my ass this time. Ow. Yeah, I know. I kind of guessed it. Yeah, let's retry. Alright. Good old grab. 
You little shit. Lars, I like you and all, but fucking they chill already. Okay, he caught me on that one. Oh boy. Damn it. Ow. Okay, that's round one. Wouldn't be too bad to try and skip these little mini scenes. I wanted. Ow! Okay, he caught me. Ow! Ow! Stop, please! Okay, that's another round done, I think. Well, <sighs> all right. Hmm. Don't tell me it's gone. Well, there's a glimpse of that. Oh, he he might be a little bit guilty from the first chap chapter. Maybe that's why he can't summon it. Or... Three days later. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think... We're gonna end this video here. I I don't exactly know how this is gonna work. Uh, I basically said um, we're gonna do two fights and we're gonna end the video there. But uh, uh, I'm probably like gonna f uh, find appropriate intervals in order to like stop the video and uh, you know hopefully it's saved at a point where you know we can continue like in the next video. But so far I'm loving this. Uh, the opponents are already a lot tougher in the story mode as well. And also, I'm not, like, the biggest Jin player ever. I don't know, like, all his technicals. And I'm still coming to gripes with the new system. Even just when I started playing with Brian, one of my favorite fighters, uh, it was even difficult to play with him, too. But nevertheless, a very bombastic start. Uh, uh, so far, I'm hooked on the story. And I'm wondering where this is going to go next. Because apparently, Jin cannot turn into a devil. And that may spell any problems when it comes to facing off against Kazuya. So, without further ado, that's it for this video. Thank you all who watched. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And hopefully, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.